What's up YouTube? So I drove a couple hours up into southern Utah and I'm checking out this canyon that I've had on my radar for a little bit now. Uh, I believe there's some ruins in here. This area was inhabited by the ancestral Puebloan people. Some people call them the Anasazi. Uh, so I'm looking to see if we can find some cool stuff up in here today. I'm not really sure what to expect us to find, but I think we will come across something. So let's go check it out. So that didn't take that long. There's something up under the cliff here. Looks like you might be able to shimmy up that log to get up onto that ledge. All right, so this log is pretty sketchy. It's old. Look how, I don't know if you can tell, sorry for the camera jitters. It's just pretty old and dead and hollow, but I think I'm gonna go for it, but I've gotta put the camera down. So just pull the easy climbing move or two to get up, get up that. Here we are, right at the base. So now that I'm up here, I can tell this is definitely a granary. This is not a home of any kind. They would have stored really any essentials for survival in here. A couple of interesting things. One, the construction, although still impressive, it's not quite as, as refined as I've seen some. This looks a little more hodgepodge. I don't know, you know if it was built in a different time period, or if the people that built it, you know, maybe it was just a more stressful time and it was kind of like, hey, this is all we can, all we can do. Another thing over here that I thought was kind of cool and unique, so you've still got some of the original um, like plaster here. This is actually a, a really good example of it right below. So at one point in time, all this would have been plastered like this rather than having some of these chunks of rock sticking out. Uh, but that breaks down over time. All right, well, now I gotta get back down, the fun part, and go see what the rest of the canyon has to offer. I was moving slow, kind of through all of this, and I came upon some pottery. as it's kind of hanging under a tree here. These are all examples, I don't know if you hear that fly, that's buzzing right over my head. Get away, man. Um, but this is all types of what's known as corrugated style, where they would sort of put these impressions in them uh, in the pot before they fired it. Uh, these are actually some pretty cool. This one's like black. I, don't, I haven't seen many pieces like that. Really neat. Just to think, you know, the hands that made this and used this. Obviously leave them where you find them. So there's just pottery littered everywhere through here. Take a look at all these little pieces. All right, check this out, guys. This is so cool and definitely unexpected. I was not looking at all for stuff. I was just kind of walking, trying to cover ground. And this beautiful little arrowhead here, it's in... I mean, it would be perfect shape, except this notch is broken off here. Look how thin that is. And it's surprisingly still really sharp. Oop. Such a great experience. I'll put it back where I found it so that somebody else can share in the joy of discovery. So as I was coming up along this cliff, I noticed these petroglyphs here. Some swirls. The guy in the center looks like he might be wearing some kind of a headdress. Something over here to the right. I don't even know. Kind of looks like a turtle, but a crazy turtle. I haven't been around this corner yet. Let's go see what's over there. Yep, there we go. There's some bigger stuff. So 
So judging by this one and all the blackened, I don't know if you guys can see, it's dark, but the top of this roof is really blackened with soot, which is always indicative that they had fires in here. Here's the rest of the structure. It's kind of interesting, the architecture style of this building here looks a little different to me than this one here. The mud actually looks a slightly different color and the way they built it, there's like far more sort of smaller, thinner blocks in there. That'd be a cool outing if that was all I found, but I have a feeling if this is early on, there's gonna be probably a lot more up there, although it might, uh, might take a little more work. Whenever I'm in places like this, I can't help but ask myself, like, well, what am I leaving behind, you know?